In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily fix your iPhone issues without losing your data, and that's coming up right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So today we're going to be having a look at repairing your iPhone if it's experiencing issues that stop you being able to use it. In most cases we can fix it without any data loss, which is great news for those without backup. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Dr. Phone iOS repair software, and they've asked me to show it to you guys. Dr. Phone's iOS repair software is an easy to use piece of software for repairing many different issues with your iPhone or iOS device. Most commonly, we've got problems such as the iPhone being stuck in recovery mode, stuck in DFU mode, white screen, black screen, boot loops, frozen or restarting iPhones on top of many, many more issues. In most instances, the faults can be resolved using the software and keeping all your data intact, but for very severe problems, sometimes you will lose your data, but the great thing is that their software will let you know about this. It's also a great piece of software for those of you that don't like iTunes, as you can repair or downgrade iOS without the need for iTunes, providing the iOS software update is available. On top of the software, they've also got a dedicated iOS update and problems page that not only gives you all of the information about the latest iOS updates, but it also goes through the new features, tells you how to prepare for the update, and of course, how you can update. If you get any issues, there's also a library of update problems. For example, on iOS 14, they've got plenty of information if you've got a failed update, iOS 14 system problems, app problems after the installation, or any other iOS 14 issues. For worst case scenarios, they even offer downgrade advice and guides that let you know if it's possible, how to prepare, and finally how to do it. Now, we're going to run through the software and show you how it works and how it's going to help you get your iPhone back to 100% working condition. So when you open up Dr. Phone, you can see a wide list of various features that it offers. It's also great for backup and transfers to a new phone, but today we're going to focus on the repair side of things. I've got an iPhone 12 here and I'm going to show you exactly what we need to do. So first of all, we click on System Repair. The first time you access this, it's going to download the files it needs, and the second time and later, it's just going to open. You can see here we've got the option for iOS Repair, Android Repair, and iTunes Repair. Of course, I've got an iPhone 12, so we need the iOS Repair feature. Now there are two modes within the iOS repair, we've got the standard mode and advanced mode. We always want to use the standard mode as this will not wipe any data from our iPhone. When the repair is finished, we'll have all of our apps, our message, call logs and everything we had before we are experiencing issues. My advice is to always use the standard mode and only if we experience issues that just can't be fixed in standard mode should we consider advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and click standard. The next screen asks us to place the phone in recovery mode and tells us how to do it on early devices, on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and finally the iPhone 8 and newer. This is what I like about the software as it gives you instructions each step of the way to ensure you feel comfortable with what you're doing. So as advised, I'm using the iPhone 12, so I need to turn it off and connect to the computer. My device is now powered off, so I'll plug in the cable that's already connected to my computer. And next I need to press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button. Now be patient here as it takes a little while, just keep holding the power button until you see the illustrated picture on the screen. Now we're in recovery mode and you can see it shows iPhone 12 on iOS 14.1. Now this should work all of the time, but if your phone is having some severe issues, you can do the same in DFU mode as shown on the previous screen. But I'm here and I want to repair the iPhone 12, so I'm going to go ahead and click start. Now this is the first time doing the repair for me, so it needs to download the latest version of iOS to repair. The download time will of course be dependent on your internet and their server, but it shouldn't take long as it's only roughly 5 gigs. Now I'm just going to fast forward the video to where this download has complete. Next is verifying the firmware to make sure everything is okay, and as advised by the software, from this point out, do not disconnect your iPhone from the PC. The firmware verification will finish pretty quickly, and then we're prompted to fix. The note says that of course, if there's hardware problems, then they cannot be fixed as they're physical, and if you've had your phone unlocked, unfortunately, this process will lock it back to your network, but of course, if your phone came unlocked, then it's going to be fine, and if it's still locked to a network, then there's going to be no change. 
All we need to do here is click fix now and the software takes full control. It's reinstalling the latest iOS and keeping all of our data intact. It's all done from the software and the phone connected to the computer so we don't need any intervention whatsoever. The process of repairing can take up to about 10 minutes so I recommend grabbing a coffee while you wait. We're going to fast forward it to where it's finished and as you can see I get the prompt repair of the operating system complete. Your device should restart which mine has and if for any reason yours doesn't just click click try again or there is help below if the repair failed. If it's not able to be repaired in this way then that's when you consider using advanced mode but as I said if you use advanced mode then you could lose your data. But that's pretty much it as you can see here my iPhone has restarted, it's got iOS reinstalled and it's working exactly as it should be with all of my data. For anyone not confident with fixing these kinds of issues I think this could be a really useful piece of software to get them through it. Of course, for those that want to try it, the links are down in the description below and if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.